the fight between Sun Guy and and Crunchbat are on. Yeah, one of the things that some guy's gonna have to work on in terms of like how we saw him play the last match is he was sort of, you know, pedal to the metal the whole way through against Ben mm -hmm. That as well eventually started pushing for that. As you saw right there, some guy charging a smash attack for crunch back, he picked an option. It feels like some guy is just maybe a little bit too eager, maybe a little too ambitious at times. And because of that, he's just getting punished again and again. It seems like the early aggression is paid off against Crunchbat. Crunchbat, too, uh, to some guy's credit, Crunchbat is going to have to hold shield a lot just because with how light Mewtwo is, these back airs could be devastating, especially on a stage as small as this one, even uh, only at 170%. It's be oh. And some guys, we mentioned, with the early advantage already has Crunchbat up to 127. With Mewtwo, we saw using Come on, Pichu. Is able to really set up a lot of those KOs and those smash attacks here, Vicky. But right now, it's all some guy just keeping all some guy side of the stage. But don't forget, Crunchbat has got some of those KO throws. Yeah, being able to throw out some guy up the stage, but some guy managing to find that stage control. Yeah, control some guy. The last hit just being the only one necessary to land onto Crunchbat, taking that first stock, and overall, essentially boiling down to the matchup that I was referring to, where you know you're gonna have Crunchbat taking more of those hits because of the large hurt boxes, but you see him trying to take advantage of using the. Oh no, some guy. Ability, that shadow ball ca catching him off guard as he was trying to roll into the platform there. And overall, that's what you're going to be seeing Crunchbat do on a small stage like this. He's going to try to utilize the platforms to essentially expand onto where he could land. And you bring up some really good points. And, Coney, we continue to see some guy with Pichu is going to get so many different combos off of those throws. You've got to be able to create a little bit of distance between yourself and Pichu. And so far, no luck for Crunchbat in creating a little bit of real estate between the two of them. Yeah, it just can be so dangerous if you're too close. Air Dodge is off stage now. That's great. Being able to do that will make it back to the stage. A lot of characters can't do that. You two, very lucky in that regard. Was able to Air Dodge off stage and still make it back. But even still, he's on the ropes going from post to post. Just that back air from some guy being laid out with Crunchbat waiting it out. Oh, oh. Crunchbat is going to destroy some guy. Oh, a tiebreaker. I thought Crunchbat was going to win. Crunchbat has to be a little bit more uh, reserved and careful around some guys, just constant aggression. And especially coming off the ledge, Vicky, we saw that. Crunchbat trying to be very aggressive, getting back on your recovery. And looks like Crunch. Really good no, looks like some guy's going to go against. And we saw that with the parry leading to the smash. Uh, yeah, I can't pro pronounce the that, that Canadian player's name. Made there. And also just taking the but I hope on some guy can win it. Really afford to do so, being a light character himself. Those are the lightning loops, the blender, as Cody likes to call it, and it was really working out in his favor. All right, so Crunchback falling to some guy. Some Crunchback guy got eliminated. First game in that match. Let's rack it up again. No rack it up. fighter change yet, Tony. We have yet to see that counter pick. It seems like they're Okay, so this must be round fight. two. Who they've gone with. What adjustments do you think Crunchback needs to make with you two? If I'm being honest, one of the biggest adjustments is uh, getting lucky on stage. Because mm -hmm. part of it is, you know, the, the stages are random. And we have a large list of choices. I don't think we've seen a single final destination, but... Battlefield is, I think, going to be way better for French Bat here, just because it's a much bigger stage, it's much larger, so he's going to be able to survive longer than Pichu. Um, and it also gives him more space to play around because of the fact that Yoshi's obviously, you know, it has the wall there, so you can't go under the stage, you can't use that space. But 
but I feel like Hunchback might be able to hug the wall a little bit more, sort of that curve. But it seems like more of the same starting out here. This cat and mouse game is just, Pichu is just running away with this one. And it's almost literally a cat and mouse if you really want to bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get into Pokemon yeah, biology nice. too deep here, but it's really an odd first stop for both fighters. And it's some guy's ability here, and this is what we've seen in the previous game, Vicky. It's some guy's ability to apply the constant pressure on Crunchbat. And Tony was saying, Crunchbat's got a little bit more room to work with, but you've got to really win neutral and win the bottom part of the stage here to make sure that you are keeping some guy just out of your face for the match because this is what we're seeing some guy just right in the mud of crunch back oh you know, he knocked you know, out game, crunch back to some guy's set versus fences will some guy went really aggressive at the beginning and then slowly started slowing down when he realized that it was honestly costing him a lot of percent and very similar to the pacing in this game too. Some guy really slowing it down, honestly trying to capitalize off of Crunch Bat's mistakes and being more aggressive. That's kind of like why we're having a standoff right now between the Shadow Ball and the Jokes. And as we know, some guy teach you a very light character, but this could be a really pivotal point in this match here, Tony, because some guy already racking up 62 Ooh. with that one stock advantage. That would have been the stock there. If he got the thunder on Pichu. Oh! I think Crunch Bat's going to lose again. Barely off ledge and shades of what we saw earlier against Greninja. We saw Crunch Bat making it to the stage and trying to get to the ledge and went a little bit above, and some guy's not going to let up. Oh, he knocked out some guy. Good, good gracious, this is bad. Yeah, but with Peach, you could almost live at 200%. That is definitely something new to see. You don't really get to see that too often. And some guy trying to capitalize off of the offstage play here from Crunch Bat, trying to get the back air, but Crunch Bat knowing better, going for that lower recovery to get back onto the stage a lot faster to maintain that stage control. Yeah, you mentioned the stage control so critical here. Crunch Bat really can't afford to take much more damage. If you can sneak a quick KO here and get some guy down to his final oh. spot, possibly because both fighters are so light. But at this point, it is just too much some guy, too much quickness, too many. Oh, problems. yeah. And some guy, once again, closes. Some guy did it. Crunch Bat, and some guy will move on to our lo loser's final. And Crunch Bat and Mewtwo, a valiant effort, but just. Not enough to keep up with Crunch back got eliminated. Tony, once again, it's some guy and the ability to read all the options that Crunch Bat was going to use off the ledge and a terrific read to close out that match. Yeah, there at the end, it was just sort of closing every window, closing every door. There was no way out from that position. And as soon as Crunch Bat hit the ground and he didn't tech, as soon as he just gave some guy more time to catch up to him and get the down smash and place his attack, it was over from there. Um, some guy just using Pichu's mobility, his speed, his quickness, and his raw just damage, his, his power is just insane. We saw some guy use that to great effect. Crunch Bat, unfortunately, despite some, some great showings that we saw, we know that he has the talent and the potential. We've seen him pop off in these sets, but it unfortunately just was not enough at this level. Making it to the dance all the way here at the top four, but just could not pull it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the updated bracket after we move on to our losers' finals here. Some guy's going to go against Ventus Will again. Match against Ventus Will. They faced off in the winner's semifinal. Different paths to get there, but they will get a chance to refresh things, maybe recalibrate a few things as well, too, as they get set to fight and be the winner and whoever will advance to take on Kroninja as well. And... Vicky, last time we saw some guy taking on Ventus Will, it was pretty close. It was 2-1, obviously, in the match, and Ventus Will moves on. But I wonder if we will see that Ness versus Pichu, or if some guy might try to... All right, to I'm going to stop the camera Ness right here, and then... That. Well, they lost with their Pichu. And, and then we're going to do the next video. Yeah, well, now...